I showed him. I showed him the Voltron, my Voltron action figure. <laughs> what did you do? All I heard was Voltron action figure. I showed my Voltron action figure on the call with them. <laughs> and and what was the what was the pretense for that? Do you know who Voltron is? Um, I I think I do. Yes. Voltron. It's a, it's the, because often when I show people the Voltron action figure, they think it's a transformer. It's not a transformer. No, no. Vol, Vol, Voltron is a defender of the universe, and he's made of yeah. five space lines. Without the, each, without five space lines, Voltron does not exist. Yeah, that's that. When you were watching Saved by the Bell, you back up a few years, and that's I was watching Voltron. <laughs> yeah. So my point is, I, <laughs> am, is. I am the, as I said on a, on the Zoom with them, I am the Pakistani Voltron. And and the space. You are the Pakistani are... everybody. This is this, yeah. this is your this is your shtick. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were the Pakistani. Yeah, uh, they could say uh, anything, and you're the Pakistani that version of it. <laughs> <laughs> are you the Pakistani Mussolini? <laughs> is that going to be the drop now? That's yeah, the... it might be. It's not bad. We've had a couple good ones yet. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the FTS podcast, Friends Talking Shop. We are all gathered here today to entertain you for the next hour and 60 minutes, roughly. That's probably about the time we, we spend yeah, doing this give podcast, or give or take. I'm your host, Dave. I am back from two weeks in New York. I'm back in my home in St. Louis. I'm very, very happy to be here. I will tell you, I don't. Both you guys spent a lot of time there. That city exhausts me. I don't know if I'm doing it wrong. Part well, part of it was that Josh, you you booked a hotel that was awful. That that didn't seem to <laughs> kick off the whole thing. Though. But that's an exhausting city. I don't know how you guys do it. It's it's terrible. But and you, it's did, you, you did it. You you did a lot. You did a lot. You were there a long time. When I do it, it's like a night. That's <laughs> you go to New York. You. Yeah, you go out like night two, and spend no, spend the day. No, it, it's two. It's Resting. two days. It's what? It's two days. It's like going oh, to Disney saying, World for yeah. like a week and a half. You can't. You can't do that. It's 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 too. Hey much. guys, I need to. I'm sorry. I need to. I I need to call somebody back. All right, I'm go sorry. ahead. Do it on the podcast. I'm sorry. Do, right. Are you going to okay. do this right on the podcast? I have to do it. Is we this start a, at the podcast. Go ahead. Is it podcast worthy? Is this something that's going to be entertaining to our listeners? No, maybe. I'll tell you afterwards. Oh, I can't wait. I'm going to tell you that I'm just going to add this to my portfolio of, of, um, I will take of, no, no, <laughs> bloopers. No, of, <laughs> of, of reasons to, uh, to find a, a new third host. <laughs> yes. that's right. But when he takes us to court and sues us for, for kicking him out, <laughs> yeah, I can a. play, I can play this exact thing. Look at him. He's, oh, look at him. Like, oh, he he's looks really tough. angry. He's using a lot of uh, hand motions Yep. and he's walking around. It's almost like he's in court. Making you know his final argument. Yeah, it does look like that. Like he's like he's the attorney and he's doing his closing statement right now. Yeah, and he's probably negotiating what's what's supposed to go on the back of the hoodie he's making right now. <laughs> it's probably it's, what this calls is, about. is huge uh, issue yeah. of the day. <laughs> or it's his uh, <laughs> Yeah, it could be that too. Yeah. So, well, Josh, you are. In case we keep this, you're my other host. Uh, how are you doing this week? Are you we doing really right? going to keep this? I, yeah, maybe. This is ridiculous. I, this podcast is listened to by Trevor, his brother Tyler, and and probably no one else. And, and probably sisters. no one else. Yeah. Uh, how are you doing this week? You doing right? <clears throat> yeah, you I think sound I'm, better. Yeah, I'm past the COVID, which is good. But now I've learned that my uh, and I keep getting texts by the way from my buddies like, oh, now my wife has it, now my kid has it, now all the the buddies I was uh, away with. I'm thinking you're a super spreader. What's the, what's the statute of limitations here? I mean, I, I've been. I've been home for a little while now. Maybe you got it from somewhere else. Isn't that yeah. possible that your wife and kid got it from somewhere else? So they're implying it came from you. Is it still me? Of course they are. They want to dig in. Are any of them like sick? They can't taste and smell? And uh, No, they're just uh, feverish and sweaty and uh, cold chills and things like that. Now, what are you going to do about the uh, Vex, uh, the booster now? Do you have any? Uh, I don't know what I'm that? supposed to do because i got the booster basically oh, when i got the boost right when i had covid the, yeah right unbeknownst to me and now i'm thinking like did that work is it a waste of the booster do i have do i have super strength now or i don't know what because they always tell you don't I've get the booster before yeah 
<laughs> you got it the second before you actually caught it. I've never heard that before. It seems like that's the case. Like I literally coinc- it coincided together my my COVID with the booster. Well, what would you do Isn't with that this strange? information? Yes, it is strange. I, I called my doctor and said, hey, I'm going to London in a week and I really don't want to catch when I'm there. Should I get yeah. the Omicron booster? And he came back and said, um, I would just maximize your sleep and exercise. That was the what? answer. Yeah. So how? Well, how so I, I think that's a no. How would you respond to that? That's clearly a no, but what doctor would say that? Yeah, I... I, I you need to change doctors. How I long have you been going to this guy? A few years. Um, mm. I mean, as soon as he graduated medical school, um, so it's been a couple of years. No, he's a he's a good <laughs> guy, established guy. But I I think it's implying that you know you shouldn't. There's probably some other risk to the booster. So you know, just sleep well and eat well, and and you'll be you'll be fine. Oh, they did mm. say too. He said the booster will help you from hospitalization and death. Otherwise, right. just maximize your sleep and exercise and stuff like that. So I think from that information, I'm going to not get the booster and take my chances in London. Yeah. I, w- I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not sure about that. Well, I think, did you, do you think you had Omicron your, when you had it the last time? Boy, Omer looks angry. Now. Yeah. Look, look at, at him. Now. Yeah. You think he's this is work related? His, his neck is moving now when he's talking. Yeah. I'm I guessing can't tell what this is. What do you think is? the chances are it's work related or house related or swag related? He's uh now it uh, seems like he someone walked in his house. Didn't it seem like that? Because he just made a oh no, he's back. Yeah. He's I now don't he's, know. He seems I, to be hanging I up. Think, he seems I think a little happier. All right, here we go. What went on there? A lot of hand motions, a lot of gesturing. Oh my god. What was that? <laughs> so I am um I'm going to Europe tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I'm bringing Miles with me. Yeah. Right? I need to get his paperwork done. I had. Yeah, we talked. Yeah, we heard yes. about this. Yes. Yeah. I the 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 forgery did not work. Apparently, there <laughs> there is a central database of rabies shots. I, who would have known? <laughs> yeah. I, imagine that. You can't just say it's all when I get rabies. when I get pulled Wait over in Virginia for speeding, my points never transferred to Maryland when I was growing up. There might be no I mean, reciprocity. Yeah. My point is apparently there's, there's reciprocity for rabies shots. No, that's not, you're you not using think- reciprocity correctly. <laughs> <laughs> All you anyway, did was just repeat so reciprocity. My, so my, my point is, is that his paperwork was approved from, from my New York City vet. I'm flying through New York to go to Europe and I need to get Miles' paperwork. So right. I hired a messenger company, right, through this company that, that, that Emma, that my, uh, Emma who works with me, uh, yeah. found. Yeah. And um, to, to, to deliver Miles' paperwork to me when I get, when I land in JFK. Okay. And then from there, I'm going to go from JFK to, to Paris. Okay. That seems Point. very, it's very, very they, risky. They, it's they, a dog no, we're talking about, Josh. This no, is there totally are services, worse. Dog. Yes. there are services where they can meet you at your gate. They'll be there. With, so I have an, I, I have know, a, but don't, you got to rely on everything going right for that to happen. Listen, this is my life. Okay. I like I like the uncertainty. I, I embrace right. volatility, but, okay. but so Emma just called me. I'm like, why, why is she calling? Because this is yeah. a big deal. Otherwise my chachi boy can't go with me to Paris. Yeah. Right? I'm going for yeah. like, whatever. These are so, major, major issues. It's a major issue. So yeah. she calls me and obviously <laughs> it's something important, I think. And it, there, and she's like, well, the concierge, the, uh, the, <laughs> The, the messenger service is concerned about you making your connecting flight. I'm like, what? How is that? Ha- they're, I mean, they're concerned. Yeah, exactly. My, my travel agent booked everything. I've been using what? what there are travel messages. agent? What year is this? I, I Believe me, it's amazing having a travel agent, which I can get to in a yeah, second. I, I, yeah, I'm, I'm with you on that. Yeah. So all right. You'd rather so, do all that on your own on Expedia? It, the, the, the whole purpose yes, of the, I would, of the messenger is to meet me at the gate. I get the paperwork. I'm not going to like arm wrestle the guy or whatever. I'm going to get the paperwork and then continue on my way to the international entrance. And right. I have enough time. Otherwise, they wouldn't let me check on my luggage, for example. That has to be from right. plane to the other. Right. And she's saying, well, the messenger service is really concerned. I'm like, what do we care about the messenger service concerned about me making my connecting flight? Are they also going to tell me about what kind of mortgage I should get? Like, what do they know about anything? Why yeah, are we why, having this conversation? Why would they even bring that up? I'm in the middle of a, of a recording with my with my boys, and you're taking me away from this. Why would they even bring that up? Why would, I have why never, would... I don't know, I have never raised my voice at Emma, ever. 
I did wow. it. I did it. I did it. Yeah. Do you odd. remember? It's like that. It's like the Seinfeld where he had that one assistant that one <laughs> that one episode, and he's go and before he goes out there, she goes. Before you go out on stage, I just want you to know the pilot is in the audience. <laughs> He's like, why would I? What, okay, why would I care about that? The yeah. pilot that, that flew him, and then he, <laughs> he was flipping out. Yeah, uh, she told him the pilot was in the you audience. You yelled at her then, poor Emma. I don't, no, no, I didn't yell at her. I go, I go, mm. I go, like I, go I said, what in the f do we care about what the message service says about me making my connecting flight? Oh, right, right, right. What does right, that have right. to do with anything? Yeah. If you're a first time listener to this podcast, I apologize for the start. You probably have no idea what you're listening to right this now. This is the worst start ever. <laughs> we actually we actually What a are mess. A, what a, a mess this is. We're a travel blog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what not to do when you fly. Dave Erickson, who always takes multiple <laughs> drugs whenever he gets on an airplane. Yeah, thank right? you. Just Josh, outing me completely. Who can, yes. Josh, you can recommend trips to go to with, with 15 other grown men uh, in the wilderness <laughs> and what houses to avoid. <laughs> right. And then me with, yeah. uh, you know, how it's like forging dog your documents. Fake forging rabies documents. documents. Yes. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> All right. Well, All right. Well, that's we're, that's we're still the FTS podcast. Uh, let's see. Let me go through the uh, I'm your host, Dave. We talked about Josh. He's doing fine. <laughs> Get over fine. COVID. Yeah. Uh, our third host who fakes uh, documents across borders is Omar. By the uh, way, when, when I was caught at the vet, she's like, well, the database says it was uh, September 21st, not August 21st. And I go, oh, I'm like, I don't know. It must have been my assistant. I don't, I don't know. I just played dumb. <laughs> he blamed it on I you. felt like I was one of the Trump log judicial nominees. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, like, he's being questioned by the by whatever. I'm like, I didn't say that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you blame it on the dog? Like, it's a dog. The dog, yeah. even month the dog doesn't do anything right. You can't tell you dates or time. Yeah. yeah. Stupid dog. <laughs> That's right. Uh, amazing. All right. Well, let's kick this podcast off. Yeah. Um, if uh, I think if you fast forward to this part, because we've told you to do so, it's welcome to the podcast. <laughs> um, we'll cover a few things here. First of all, is what we do in this podcast. Uh, at, F at Friends Talking Shop, the three of us will come up with three topics that we've not discussed, and we will talk about it for the next few minutes here. Uh, we would love to hear from you. Somehow our email must not be working. Uh, because it's, it's uh, so complicated. It's like 17 <laughs> decimal points, like an uh, asterisk. All right, like, tell them what it is real slow, real it's slow. Friends, mm -hmm. like the show on NBC yeah. that mm -hmm. is not mm -hmm. friends, mm -hmm. at FTS, here's the tricky part, dot media. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> There's no other thing. FTS.media, friends at FTS.media. There we go. We would we love go. to. Now, every once in a while, someone will say, you know what you should say in the podcast? They'll like tell me directly. I, I'm going to say, look, send it. Send, the send email. an email. Yeah, I'm not listening to any more suggestions anymore. I want, I send, if it's not. Whoa, email, you're going big time. Yeah, I want, I want this inbox. You're going to big time. Wait, how, how was it when I wasn't on the pod? Was it, was it the Patrick, was the Patrick Ewing theory proved to be true? It was. It, I thought it went pretty smooth, right? Yeah, I think, it, I think other? it actually went a little better. Yeah, it was hilarious. Yeah, yeah, it was very funny. You it was still... good to have you as the as the topic rather than the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> you were very animated. You should have seen yourself as yeah. we watched you pace back and forth, wailing your arms in disgust. <laughs> I was doing this. Yeah, you, 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 really? You were, Co you were Coco. <laughs> yeah. It's that scene from yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at George. He's Coco the monkey. <laughs> That's what it looked like. Well, two Seinfeld references right away. Yeah, two, two right away. <laughs> All right. That's great. We got the description. We got the pie, uh, the email address out. Are we ready to start? Let's do it. We're All already right. delayed. I am going to go first. I think mine is not a super long one, but I, I do want to get your guys' opinion on this. Now, again, this is similar to Omar's problem of trying to get his dog to, to Paris. These are, you know, first world problems. Um, mine is very much like this, so don't judge me too harshly. But I do think that this is isn't that what we're supposed to do, Dave? Is judge you harshly? Isn't that our role? Well, I, all right, that's that's <laughs> true. It's friends <laughs> just judging harshly. That's yes. you, <laughs> the name of the podcast. Um, all right, so I, I I think this is worth asking you guys about. I think you'll really understand it. Is when I was in New York, I had a dinner that was uh, put on. It was I was going to a conference, and either the conference or someone who was a sponsor of the conference was putting on a dinner at a restaurant in New York. And of course I showed up 
and uh, didn't wear a jacket because I'm no longer going to wear a sport coat. I'm not. I'm not going to wear things that are uncomfortable. Anymore. I'm with you. I'm the with pandemic you. Pandemic stopped any wearing uncomfortable clothes to anything. Right. So, um, and I'm just going to champion that cause and people who are still in pre-pandemic mode. I don't care about that anymore. I just, I'm just going to wear what is comfortable anyway. So we sweatpants or something, please. No, I was, uh, but like I wear, <laughs> like, it was a velvet tracksuit. I wear, I wear tennis shoes now for everything. Like Cole Han tennis shoes, like not, yes. like, not dressed up. Box. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, right. Yes. Yes. That's, yes. That, I, I'm doing that. that That's fine. I, I went to the Harvard club at the next following day and did the same thing. Like I'm not wearing dress shoes anymore. Those we're I'm just going to wear tennis shoes from now. I'm with right. you. Thank you. Um, so we get the uh, sit down and uh, there's about probably 20 people in the room. And if anyone's listening, especially if you paid for this dinner, it was lovely. And I really appreciate it. <laughs> Please hang up at this point and don't. Listen yeah. to it. Um, there is a, they had a prefix menu because yep. I'm sure they wanted to speed up the process, right? Let me tell you what's on the prefix menu. It's always bad news. I'm out of the room at this point. Right? Or I, or, 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 or I pull out my Snickers bar. <laughs> That's not too un, <laughs> unlike what happened to me uh, in re- having a Snickers bar. So there's course one, course two, and you get a choice of two things for yep. the entree. Yep. Course one is a salad, which is already a bad start, but I get it. Like most is it one of those fancy salads that's like it's not a good salad, but it yes. looks like it's got all some weird shit on it, and you feel like I have I know. seen this shit before on a salad, and you have do to you, eat it. Do you remember you used to cut grass, and they would have like a bag, and you'd take have a bag, whatever was in that bag, <laughs> that oh is God. what the salad they put on the salad. Yeah. It's all weeds. It's yeah, a weeds. stem, and it's not lettuce. It's right. It's, it's, Who was it? Wait, was the sponsor close to you when this was happening? The person when it was happening. It yeah, was happening said, to everybody. Yeah. Everyone got a salad. No, because here's my thing, right? It's like it's like um, you know how like uh, Donald Trump was famous for like going to charity events and being like never actually giving any money, but getting all like the accolades, <laughs> right? This is okay. this is almost as bad, right? If you're gonna have a sponsor like a lunch or an event and the food is crap, you have control over that food, yeah. right? Oh, and yeah. you're paying and you're getting all the accolades, but you gotta have to show show me a quality experience. They were there. That's all I'm asking for. Well, I, I, hold on. This, the food might have been quality. I'm just saying there yeah, are so many that quality. we all like the kinds of food that they were serving. Because right. it's, it's not, it's not a, a yeah. So whatever it was, I mean, it's, I can't say like, how dare you first course salad me. I mean, of course, <laughs> so salad is fine. Lots of mushrooms. Like, but, you know, I, I don't like mushrooms. I know lots of people do. So that, that I like part, mushrooms. I like okay. mushrooms. So first course was salad. Second course, octopus. No what? other choice. I like octopus. Wait, wait you're, was you're, this you're was this some saute? Weird, some was, fried? was there wine there? Was this a dinner or a lunch? I missed that part. Dinner, dinner, nice wine. Were you drinking there. wine? The wine was yes. nice. Yep, very fine. How was your table? Table was long with twenty. How was people. you? Who were you sitting next to? Was it a signed seating? <laughs> yes, signed seating. Happy with who you're surrounded by? Who were you? Surrounded Lovely by? people. I didn't know them, so I had to, you know, start the conversation from scratch. So it's. Did you uh, comment not, on their glasses or their or their blouse they were wearing? Like their <laughs> dockers. I, I, I held my own. Unlike last weekend where I talked about how I crawled into my shell and left yes. the building, I, I can hang with people when in a situation where well, I, you had no choice. You had yeah. no choice. And I had a lovely time. They were wonderful people, including the host. Just awesome. Um, and I don't even know if they were the ones that chose it. It might have been the restaurant. But course two is octopus. And now at this point, you know. Salad <laughs> is relatively light for me. I've ate maybe two bites. Now yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. Second course comes in. It's octopus to the point where the end of the tail, which is curled around, you can see the suction cups. I like that. I actually like that. Isn't I that crazy? tried it. I have such. I have such a. Uh, oh my uh, god! I can't eat. I don't want to see tentacles. Yeah, it, I, see, you know what's weird is I have such a limited palate, and it, like I, there are so many foods I don't like. I actually like that. It's really good. Uh, Did you try it, Dave? Did you I try tried it? it? I tried it, and it was fish-like, right? But the the, the tentacles and the tail is <laughs> that spun at the end is staring yeah. me right in the face. Like I, yeah. I it could have tasted like marshmallow peeps for all I care. I would have not eaten it. Which uh, marshmallow peeps are gross. Listen, you shut up. Uh, marshmallow <laughs> peeps are uh, amazing. <laughs> I took a tour of the factory, Ben. It's a Pennsylvania company, by the way. Um, yeah, that still doesn't uh, make me like it. All right, so octopus. I'm I'm done with the octopus, and of course, you know, the person. Are you done? Like, uh, 
You mean is the entire tail of my octopus not touched? I mean, I'm now done. can I ask you something? Yes, Did sir. you at least try to move it around the plate and chop it up a little bit so it looks like you made a dent in it or no? You or can't. You uh, to do what? Like instead of pointing. Hold on. Left, Was the rest of the <laughs> table eating the food? Uh, other people were eating the octopus. Yeah, this yeah. is my point. Yeah. These people are all mindless. They're all zombies. <laughs> what do you mean they're mindless? No, this is I honestly, like this, this is what this is what the Matrix is, right? People are like they're they're in these like routines like oh there's food I must eat food I eat now food. Omar Omar I like octopus but I also agree with Dave that is a very small percentage of people who like that right. so if you're if you're serving a meal where people don't get to choose what they eat you better go for stuff that's going to hit yeah like a hot dog <laughs> maybe well, not a hot dog. I actually said so. The, when the waiter put my plate down, it, I said, "I'm um, sorry. Um, what is this?" They go octopus, and I said, um, "Do you have chicken fingers instead?" And like <laughs> nobody laughed at that. Not not a single person. That's a funny joke. I thought that was yeah. That, well, that was me. That was maybe a, that if was you said Monty sticks, that's funnier. <laughs> <laughs> that, you're right. That might have been funny. Yeah. All right. So then I'm like, all right, I'm ready for the entree. The entree, as they asked us for the the uh, option, one was a fish called char. Yeah, I've heard of the char. White fish char. Yes. Okay. So I mean, I think as far as you know, fish goes, it's not probably insane. It's not a fish with. Um, hey, uh, is it weird that when you said that, like I thought about my ex? Her name, her name was Char. Her name is Char. <laughs> no, is so it it's not weird because the name uh. is similar. She now, if, not on now if you had said, if David said, then they serve the octopus, and you said, is it weird? I thought of my ass. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been weird. <laughs> yeah, I'm that, would have been different. That, that would have been different. Yeah. Uh, so, a char, so was the first option. The <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> char, char, or what was the other one, Char, uh, uh, steak. No, 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 I'm sorry, not steak. Cauliflower steak. Oh, my God. So a plant based plant based yeah. steak? It, well, I don't okay. know what they do. They grilled a, a thing of of cauliflower yeah. to make it's, it look like yeah. steak. That was yeah. the two options. Yeah. They figured yeah. either you'll like char or yeah. cauliflower steak. <laughs> Jesus. And of course, poor me. I'm from Wisconsin, right? So I've got <laughs> salad, octopus, char, or cauliflower steak. Okay. And uh, so someone said, you know, I've seen the menu. They have lots of things on the menu, and I thought, like, you know, like. Normal meat, uh, you know, <laughs> other other things. So there is this, you know, discussion is whether we should like, you know, say, hey, do you mind if we look off uh, the menu? And oh, so you had allies here. I did, I did. Okay. Especially when okay. the octopus hit, then it's the 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 level, the temperature. You had allies. Rose. Yep. <laughs> um. So, but you know, what do you do? What you know, do you order? Do you say like, look, I'm I'm going off the menu because normally you do a prefix because you want to speed up the process, right? Yeah, there's no ordering; just it's coming out and Let's that's go. it. it yeah, there was a good going. hour between course two and the entree, so there is no saving of time. Um, I ended up eating the char. You know, that was what I. It's the least of two evils. Yeah, and, but chars. See, this is so weird because a price fix. I'm with you. I, I get a little nervous because again, did you say price I, fix. What, what did you, what what did I what did I mean to say? I think it's a prefix. Is that prefix, 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 okay, prefix. Yeah. Right. yeah, but I get a little nervous because I'm like, uh, there's so much I don't like, and I'm just worried that I'm going to look like an ass not eating it. Yeah. And but you, what you besides the salad, this is spot on for me. I I love char. Char is good. I, I wouldn't. I don't know about the cauliflower steak. Although I will tell you this. You oh wait, to... the irony of this whole thing: Josh has the most sensitive stomach of anyone I've ever met, <laughs> and he has no problems stomach. telling it's... people about the repercussions of things they make him eat. Or when they're around yeah, him when they eat. That's like my true. dad talking about, about the next day. Why? If my dad doesn't eat Mexican food. He, was, he always do tells I. me what happens the next day. <laughs> I don't want to hear what's happening. <laughs> do you know what's happened to me? Do you want to know? <laughs> no, dad. I do not want to know. And he proceeds to tell me anyway. Yeah. Well, my question to you <laughs> is, one, is it crazy? Like, if someone's setting up the menu ahead of time and trying to hit, you know, a group of 20, somebody said... What do you got for a second option? Let's go with the octopus. Like, I would think someone, if I had to choose, like, not just for myself, but for a group of people, I might go for something more middle of the road. This was yes. not a middle of the road yes. option. Did you ask who chose the menu? Uh, no, He's not going to do that. I, 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 what, I would. Which, well, well, then what would you do next? Would you say, yeah, what do you, what, what you, what do, you do? Have I told you what happened to me a long time ago when I was at a, a banking event, a cap intro event? 
which is Keep this going. conference that we go to where a, a bank's paying for the event for our yeah. listeners. Um, we're not happy with the experience, me and like six other people for uh, reasons I would not go into just for the mo- sake of brevity, but we're all complaining about it. I'm like, this is not whatever. I'm like, you want to want, I'll talk to the per- one of the people running the event for this bank. Mm-hmm. So I talked with the person, the five people are behind me, kind of like next to me or whatever, as I'm talking to this person, her name's Tiffany. And Tiffany goes, let me go bring over Allie, who's, who's our, you know, who's the boss. So she brings over Allie and I'm talking and I'm like, and Allie's like, we very sternly lo- lo- talking to me and looking at me. I'm like, well, it's not just me. I turn around, all the group had run away. <laughs> they saw this woman, Allie, come. They left you alone. They man. left me alone. <laughs> yeah. And, and so and they left me my moment of need, you know? And uh, uh, I, I was very, I thought very nice about it. However, apparently not nice enough because that same woman, Allie, uh, Allie Toka is her name, I think. Um, uh, oh, why, sent do you do email, that? why do you do that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, sent an email to my boss at the time telling him that he should fire me. Oh, now, now I know why he said her name. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. She was that is piece bold. Yeah. You know, there's a way to do it, though, Omar. You don't have to make a whole scene and, and embarrass I, 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 was, I was being very yeah. nice. I'm like, I'm very happy that I'm here. Thanks for having me. Just like David should have done at his dinner. But the food options are very limited. Are there any? I'm, I'm, I have a specific dietary constraint. You can claim out. Al- yeah, you that's what you, that you were, Oh, uh, that's what I'm allergies. Do. Claim yeah. allergies. I should have claimed. I should have said, can I, yeah, go with the, uh, I, I'm allergic to char and cauliflower. Do you have. Right. Um, Is there a substitute? Is there a substitute? Have, yeah. Do you have mozzie sticks? <laughs> See, that's <laughs> funny. Check your fingers. Yeah. 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 <laughs> that would work. That would work. I, you know, that's a great. See, that's why this podcast exists. That's such a good. I'm sorry. I'm allergic out. to both cauliflower or, yeah. Did I say cauliflower? Yeah, cauliflower. Cauliflower. And, yeah. Now, I will say this. I hate cauliflower, but I just had for the first time cauliflower crust pizza. Did you ever have that? Yeah. It was really good. You know, I was you know who sent me that? Uh, my ex, Char. <laughs> oh, there you go. I swear to God, I promise you. Swear. There's no way that and happened. Do you, and do you I, like my it? Hand to God. My hand to God. Do you like it? Right. Yeah. When she made it. Are yeah, you it's... saying that Char introduced you to cauliflower? Pizza. Just like my... Pizza. Like our worlds are colliding so closely. This that, is so uh, weird. Cauliflower pizza. Dave had a run-in with Char was and this cauliflower ha- steak, and you had a run-in with Char and yeah. cauliflower pizza. No, was, that, run was this in, that yes. Sea World that this happened? <laughs> it, 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 it's the bizarro world. <laughs> That's crazy. Well, I I I I didn't do anything. I I picked around at my chart. Well, you also heard me talk about my theory about these gr- these large dinners or meals. You should eat before you get there. Uh, you know what? That is yeah. a really good idea. You know, it's uh, not. Again, every once in a while, Omar comes up with a good idea. It's that, not a good that idea. That is a good idea. No, it's not because because again, you you want to. The whole reason you're upset is because you can't eat while others are eating, and you look around and going, "Well, they're eating it. I feel like I have to eat it." But you can pick. Yeah. I yeah. could have picked. I mean, the the octopus was so light. I could have chopped that thing into a few pieces. No one would have known. Yeah, that's wise. true. And I always and say that I save. I'm saving room for dessert anyway. Which is I just you, got a pizza beforehand. That's a great idea. Did actually. you have dessert, Dave? Was there dessert served? There was. There, it was sorbet or it was. Uh, sorbet sucks. Yeah, I agree. It was really a sorbet is just like. What an empty dessert that is. Well, here's the thing I feel bad about. If anyone that sponsor was at that dinner is hearing this, I apologize because it was a lovely group of people. The cause and everything we were there for was wonderful. I'm sure it was expensive. I just was just the idea that someone chose that menu and said, that's a great menu for 19 people I don't yeah, know. It's awful. I just feel it's like, awful. how could you ever do that? I don't you know think why, should they should apologize. Got... I think they should apologize to you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm not going to ask I, you, for an you should hope they hear this and learn. Because <laughs> Listen, I, I do these, I do dinners like this. I'm having something as well. And you, I have say over the food. I, you know, I should keep, you know what I'm going to do? I want to make sure whatever you're sitting, David, I'm going to have you serve char and cauliflower or whatever. <laughs> no, I'm you're going to throw that against the ah, wall. Ah. Uh, I'm going to throw you, it at you. Here's what you do, Omar. Everyone <laughs> gets their everyone gets their char and octopus, and, and the waiter brings out a hungry man for Dave. <laughs> and and peels, peels the plastic film off. Here you go. Here you I go, sir. I was so happy. I'd be like, oh, just like home. That's right. Did, did mom bring this? Yeah, these mashed potatoes are ice cold, but the corn is piping hot, sir. Can you take it back? <laughs> you know, it's you know, it's those little things, you know, like I think like one of my friends does these um these like events and he always hires like really high end baristas. 
um, because those things matter. Like you want to have the, and he also has very good food. Like those things matter. Of course, baristas don't they do, do coffee? Am I mistaken? What a barista is? Yes, my point is part of the experience, right? Of eating yeah. and drinking, and what's coffee is a very social thing too. Like yes. for me, the, the safest bet at these group events is very easy, right? But people obviously want to choose these complicated things. Just serve pizza, pizza. It's, it's, Everyone no, loves no. pizza. Omar, everyone so does love doing, pizza, but what they but what they want to do is they get ahead of themselves and they want to impress you and they want it to be fancy and different. And that's the whole point of why they pick these obscure items. Yeah. So it's like, you know, it, but it but it backfires. It you backfires. Think, wait, wait. You think that was a woke menu that David? No, had? not a woke. It's not woke. They're trying to impress you. They're trying to make it seem like they. Was this dinner in San Francisco, David? No, this was a New York. It meal. was a very. I was it served? Say, was it served by homeless people? No, it was uh, <laughs> a, a very conscientious, uh, anti-fossil fuel um, type crowd. Oh, there so. you go. There, that is pretty woke, Josh. That's yeah. I, yes, I, but that's octopus is not woke. Do you think woke means going into the sea, that's killing true. all the octopus, and octopus? And putting it on your plate? <laughs> that's true. Are you nuts? All the cauliflower steak, yes, I'll give you that one, but not the octopus. Unless they grow their own limbs. Do they grow limbs back? Like, can can you chop a limb off an octopus? That's starfish. Be like, Listen, starfish. That hurt. I think oh. starfish grow their limbs back. What's the difference between a starfish and an octopus? I think the uh, little uh, suction things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know. They might grow back. Maybe maybe it is a very competitive. You know, if you're going to kill I'm, something, take a leg from an octopus. They'll grow back. I, I just I've, never had. I never had a good cauliflower steak in my life and to me it's, it's a travesty never, it's like honestly cauliflower, a cauliflower, steak. cauliflower steak it's like the independent movie right you have to say you <laughs> liked it it was independent like no i do not like cauliflower steak no yeah. i'm telling yeah. you i'm saying it right now i have no interest in it oh omar so if you're hosting a dinner you have uh three courses the entree being two options what's what is your go-to how many people are at the dinner 20 um i'm ordering uh it's, it's at a restaurant correct yeah yep like, yeah, I mean, so what, but just what am generally, I what would be a good? Yeah, um, I don't do prefix for twenty people. We did this. Okay. In a uh, you're, you're not you're not playing along with the game. It, the steaks, answer is very simple: steaks, steak. fish, Thank pasta, you. steak, salmon, pizza, pasta, finger steak, food, salmon, pasta, yeah. whatever is whatever is they're known for in that restaurant. Thank you. Right. And yeah, a lot yeah. and lots of wine and yeah. the desserts, lots of desserts, steak, more desserts, salmon, pizza. But and what put I also a real do, salad there, a Caesar also, salad of something people like. Joshua, you have no idea. You you don't know what you're talking about because you never done this. What you do is this. Here's the general rule of these things. I would order the appetizers for the entire table, okay? And okay. then for entrees, I let each person pick what they want to order. If it's 20 people, if it's like, like 50, 60, 70, that's not, it's not, that's not possible. But up to 20, limit or so, you can do that. Mm. Yeah. yeah, I, I hear if, you. If, I, if, 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 if you, if they, with people who come to my, my dinners are special to me. Uh, I appreciate it. I'm coming but to the, yours. The, it's not like they weren't special to these people either. Who was the sponsor, they, David? Who was they just no, over, no, he's not going to no, tell no, you. He's no, not going to no, tell you. No. They just overthought it. A wonderful it. They organization they, they doing great it. work and has great uh, does great things. That's all I'll say. Um, it was the restaurant's fault. Not and by fault. the way, I would argue how they pick their restaurants and the and the food and the quality of the food is also how they invest. So uh, you know what I mean. Geez, no, no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm in trouble. I was in, I was an invited guest. They treated me very well. Now I, here I am complaining about it. They I, meant well. They meant I'm well. I'm sure they did. It and, was not uh, malicious. They didn't know that a country bumpkin like me was going to show up. Yeah, so right, was, right. So, all right. Well, let's move on. Uh, since Omar has left his mic, uh, Josh, do you want to <laughs> do you want to go next and go slow you, before Omar comes? You back? know what? And mine is food related too. So I think oh, it's a, we, I think we it's are a starting to meld mind meld together. And maybe Omar's is food related. It is. It is. Oh, oh this is going to be awesome. A complete food episode. Amazing. Wow. All right. So here's mine. <clears throat> so my wife's uh, Italian. And um, by the way, and, can we talk about something, oh, David, geez. first? I, I am mean, getting tired like I, of Josh off. clearing his throat. It's happening every week. It's There's a lot. Like you, you are our Gary Delavate. Yeah. There's it's, always it, something wrong I with can't your throat. E what is I this? can't even. Not. It's He's the COVID. I still have this residual cough. And is that like, what it is? Yeah. It's, from a, the it's pandemic. A, in the last yeah. couple of weeks. Yeah. It's oh, not pleasant. You. Yeah. Give him a break. I apologize. I'm very you self aware know, of it. Way, I'm right trying away, to right put away, my mic on mute. Let's not fall into the whole like it was COVID excuse for Josh about everything else, too. You know, you can't blame everything on COVID, Josh. All right. So here's the thing try not to clear your throat for the rest of the episode. Okay, Josh? Yeah, 
<laughs> as soon as you said that, I got a little pickle. If you feel it, just try to ignore it. Don't don't think if just yeah. try to not think about it. Whatever you do, don't That's think. That's unbelievable. <laughs> All right, so this is this is this is food related too. As I was saying, my wife's Italian, so we have, we we have a lot of uh, pasta, and my kids love it. My kids love, and everyone loves pasta. Who doesn't love pasta? Pasta is great, right? But here here's the here's the issue I have here. And and I've been I've been shouted down well, by I have my a wife. question, Josh. Are you? I, I can't get it out. It's impossible. Are you Jewish? Yeah. Did your wife I, convert? No. Interesting. Yeah. Is this for the podcast? No. Well, I mean, she makes pasta. I was just curious. I was just curious. Yeah, Jews are allowed to eat pasta. Well, they are. <laughs> yes, we are. Okay. Is that news? To okay. You? We can have pasta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to make a joke out of that. There's no, there's no, there's no Can you have here. it like it's with just, meat on same. the same plate? I'm not kosher. I don't. I don't subscribe to any of that crap. <laughs> okay. I eat whatever the hell that. I want. No, don't say that either. I eat bacon. <laughs> I eat bacon till I bleed. None of us can be anti-Semitic, including you, Josh. You can't. I'm not anti-Semitic. <laughs> He's an anti-dentite. <laughs> anti-dentite. I'm an anti-dentite. Yeah, that's for sure. Yeah, we're all anti-dentite. Yes. Um, God, I wonder if I can get through this topic. It's going to be quite impossible. <laughs> I don't know. I'm I'm waiting. I'm going to see if Omar flinches every word I uh, I speak here. Right, so got. my kids love pasta. All right. So we make pasta, but I get shouted down from my uh, wife's family every once in a while when I bring this up, and I and I, and I can't figure out what the hell I'm missing here. But look, pasta is great. Right. And, and uh, Italian food is, is it's the crux of Italian food. If anyone says Italian food, they immediately think pasta or may, maybe pizza, maybe pizza. But pasta is it's it's not it's not all, it's not all that amazing. Let's let's be honest. It's not like it's flavorful. It's a great invention. It's awesome for carrying the other stuff around it. And the other part is. It's all shapes, right? It's all the same thing, just different shapes. That's I don't know what actually I'm interesting, Josh. I've I I was I didn't know that you were going to go in this direction with this because this is something I've also struggled with. Did it right? does a fusilli taste differently? No, but does it or does it absorb the sauce differently than like an angel hair or this, a this is my a point. or a so fusilli. I looked it up. I looked it up, Omar. You know how many different pastas there are according to Google? There's like three hundred plus pastas. Let's say fifty. Yeah. Yeah, I would th- I wouldn't even thought 50. I thought okay, maybe 20, 25 because I can't even name that many. I tried to name them. But it's kind of fun though. Like, you know what I mean? The different shapes. It is, yeah, but it's yeah. But I, I you hear people say, and I won't say what people, but you hear people say, "Oh, I prefer um angel hair over uh fettuccine or I prefer uh fusilli over rigatoni or I don't like fettuccine the, for the record. It shapes. All right, well, mark it we're, down. We're adults. We're, we we don't need shapes. I do it's think not Play-Doh. Tastes differently than others. Josh, no, it I spent a lot of time thinking about this historically as well. Thank you. Well, I need it's some insight here. You say this. Yeah. Go ahead. So is that we'll, is that is that your so is that what's the what's the actual crux of the? Of so the my whole question? thing is here's my thing. So I'm going to give a couple exceptions here to the rule, and and there's a couple that I'll say okay, these are legitimate, like ravioli, lasagna, tortellini. They're legitimate because ravioli, Yoki. tortellini, gnocchi. Gnocchi's potato, though. That's not really. Oh, it's not? Yeah, that's, that's not really not the same considered thing. considered pasta? Yes, it is. I no? think it is, but it's not. It's Isn't potato based? Am I wrong? It has a different base. Gnocchi's got a different base. It's a good I question. I think Josh is right about this, actually. I think I am well, right about that. I think that. that might be true, but I think it falls I think ravioli pasta. is gnocchi, but gnocchi's potato ravioli, maybe. No, so no. ravioli is like a hot pocket, pasta, you know what I mean? and then there's a subheading of potato, and then gnocchi. So <laughs> I think it's under the pasta heading. I think is wait, wait, hold on. Are hot wait, pockets wait, wait, wait. are hot pockets from the same family? <laughs> yes, hot pockets. <laughs> right, they are right because there's something in them. I think that's <laughs> no, no, because that's not pasta that's on top. My right. whole point, no, like not ra- gnocchi aside. Right, right gnocchi aside. Ravioli though is different because it houses something. It's a it's a pocket. It's you know it's. Lasagna is different because it's has to be has to be flat and it's got to be you know layered with the with the different cheese and, and the and the sauce and blah blah blah. But the rest of it's just shapes. It's basically alphabet soup. The B doesn't taste different than the G. It's made from the same exact dough. What are we doing yeah, here? But Why I do we need like, do we need this like many meat, pastas? We don't need this meat pasta. sauce. I don't know. I don't know, Josh. Again, I do think that. So you're saying you're agnostic for any of them. You don't care. 
What I'm saying, yes, there's no way anyone should say, I hate this type of pasta. I like this. Unless you're talking about. Well, I mean, how much pasta do you eat, Josh? We eat a lot of pasta. I mean, because, you know. we And you haven't, and, uh, you're, and you haven't noticed a difference. You haven't, you're, to you, there's still no discernible difference for your taste buds or your experience. For the taste of pasta, there's no, there's well, I'm zero gonna, difference. This is, you know, I, did I ever tell you about my Johnny Cash, my Johnny Cash experience? <laughs> yeah, I think you're about to. So. <laughs> So I went through a whiskey tasting where I made myself in scotch. I'm scotch. I'm sorry. Scotch and Johnny Cash yeah. at the same time. As I, I'm like, I never liked scotch and I never liked Johnny Cash. And I'm like, I'm going to make myself start drinking scotch. Okay. So, and listening to People Johnny obviously Cash. love it for a reason. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. So I drank scotch. Scotch is so gross. Much, and I began to develop a palate for it because I was drinking it so much. Okay. And I could tell the differences to some extent. Similarly, with Johnny Cash, I made myself start listening to Johnny Cash. And I actually really started to enjoy it. And notice okay. like, the differences in his music, um, yeah. and why it was so powerful. Like if you eat pasta a lot, right? Like, are we talking about Chef Boyardee here? Like, what kind of pasta? No, my Fresh? wife's a good cook. She's a good cook, so she she makes she makes really good dishes. My point is, is if you use facility or you use penne, it doesn't make a damn difference. But David, do you think Josh is someone that you'd rank in your top quartile of having a discernible palate? Because to me, he just <laughs> eats anything. No, I wouldn't well, rank I myself will say, in the quartile. Yeah, so you're of so, differences of things. Thank you, Dave. So he's. I I think he will pick apart, fill in the blank. So yes. you know, I I would say. Yeah, but it's like asking a blind man to see if he can tell the difference between being in a red room or a green room. First Josh all, has am, no taste buds. I am no. I, I, he gives a lot of. Tr he tries a lot. And but by I, the way, no I, one I, eats dry pasta, right? No one eats dry pasta because dry pasta is not – there's nothing there. What's that to do with anything? It's like I'm just saying – like, I'm like, just saying it's not – right. It's not – it's it's not the pasta. It's the stuff around the pasta that makes the dish. Oh, you mean well, cooked pasta by itself no one eats? Yes. Yeah. It's, I mean, not, it's like same with rice. Oh, butter noodles. Thank you. you, know, you know, butter noodles, no, that, but, that doesn't count as – Butter noodles. They're, that's but, pasta. That's no, okay, but, but butter's that's, on top of it. Butter yeah, is yeah, but butter, butter sounds, makes the taste. Yeah. It is it is the ultimate carrier. It's it's but but the different ones I do make it. If you ask me, I make pasta a lot here as well. I throw a lot. The one thing I've because learned it's is easy. Throw a lot of salt. The olive oil thing is all bull crap. That means that does nothing to the mm, taste. My it's wife would salt. disagree with you. My wife oh, would disagree. Really? With you. Yeah. For the taste, you, the shapes, the taste isn't different. It's what is with the pasta, like the shapes. Hold yes. the other things differently, right? But they don't so hold like, exactly. Like, there's, there's no hold between difference between angel hair and and let's say um, spaghetti. Well, that's I mean, then that's it's texture, minimal. right? That's no, it's not, it's not texture. Josh, if we if we blindfolded you, which I've thought about doing many times, <laughs> yeah. If we <laughs> blindfolded you, okay, and we gave yes. you five plates and we fed you, and I fed you, I guess. Yes. I may have done that actually several times. <laughs> not, maybe not when you're blindfolded. Don't go any further than that. Yeah, this know. is creepy. <laughs> yeah, and I'm just, feeding I don't know your food, fantasies, right? <laughs> yes, I hear you. Like I'm listening. A bolognese sauce and like five yeah. different pastas. Yes. You're you're saying across the board. If they're all cooked al dente, al dente, which is my preference. Yes, of course. You want to explain to the audience what al dente means? Yes, it means uh, it means just be just before, just a slightly bit uh, hard. Not hard, but you know what I mean. Not. It's like uh, explain. You help me. Al dente. It's like, it's like it's, just slightly undercooked, right? Just slightly of smidge. Yeah. Yeah. Right. I think that's yeah. fair. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It, um, so it is. Look it up, Dave. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's gonna say. I don't know. So, I, so you think, Josh, that you would be able you you have the same experience with any of them? If, yes. If, if the if the bolognese is the same sauce. Yes, a hundred percent. That's my point. You nailed it. And what I'm saying is, you know what? You want to have a couple different shapes. That's cool. I get it. But you don't need three hundred. Three hundred different shapes. So do you do you have a preference? Like I love ravioli with my bolognese. Ravioli's different. Ravioli houses cheese. Well, no, no, hold on. I guess penne, you... penne, penne. I'm sorry, penne. Yeah, because they're tubes. I like the tubes too. But listen, okay, I'm not. Well, then, well, then, David, I think we just. I made my point. No, Josh you didn't make reference. your point. You didn't make your point. Here's the difference. If 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 you like penne and they say we're out of penne, we can only give you fusilli. You would have zero problems with that. None. 
Uh, that, I don't like Fusilli, actually. I would have a problem. But you see, that's my point. You can't not like Fusilli. <laughs> Why? Yeah, wait, 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 like Why? Circle Thing annoys me. It, to me, actually, that does taste different. Fusilli tastes different. No, it doesn't. No, it does, it, it's it, made it, from it, the same dough. It well, goes it to the same machine. It, it, I, don't like how it, I don't like how it feels in my mouth. So, the yes. texture is different. I have a preference. Come on. Same. Come on. You, if, you're, it like, you're, if it was like you're, if it was like spaghetti, if I had my preference, I have a preference. I would choose penne over anything else. Let me ask you something. Do you have a uh, uh, an M M&M and M that you like better than the color M M&M and M that you like better <laughs> than the other one? <laughs> that's a good question because it's not the difference between M M&M and M and Reese's Pieces. You no, know, right? it's it's, it's the blue M M&M and M versus green the red M M&M. M. I think that's it's right. no, yeah. that's not. Same, they're all the same, same shape, damn Josh. They're different colors. This is different shapes. It, my point is that it's, it's a the, better it's a better color would be like, like 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 Lucky Strikes. Lucky Strikes the cereal. No, you mean what? Lucky Charms? Oh, lucky Charms. Sorry. What are Lucky <laughs> Strikes? Lucky right. Strikes are, are cigarettes. cigarettes. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. No, yeah. no, not not the cigarettes. <laughs> lucky Charms, the cereal. They're all different shapes. Yeah, like the marshmallows. They're the exact same friggin' thing. Yeah, well, somehow gosh. the texture has to make a difference, <laughs> and the shape and how it delivers the other stuff makes a difference, right? It's like not- ravioli says different because it houses... It's a pocket. It forms a pocket. Together. So what you, you can't what do you, that with spaghetti. Right, because you can't concentrate the meat like you can in a right. ravioli, right? So what you like about ravioli is the fact that you've compacted what's in the ravioli, but uh, spaghetti is... is like tortellini. Tortellini's different. Those are the exception ones. Tortellini houses. This is, this is... See, Josh, you do this sometimes. I don't understand why you do it. Mm. Like, we have Josh, who is um, Jewish. He was on the East Coast of the United States. Josh, David is from the Midwest. And I'm effectively Pakistani. We're talking you're about pasta. You're not effectively pasta. Pakistani. You are Pakistani. What do we know about pasta? Like, you're married to such someone a non- who knows the essence. That's a nonsense no, thing to say. We have no credibility to talk no, about this topic. you're wrong. And this pisses this is, me off, too, is, by the way. Is this that what is your like, in-laws say? Your in-laws tell you you have no right yeah, to say Yeah, they must tell you the no, same they thing. No, they don't. They don't. No? They don't. What? what? This they is, suffer this? They suffer this. Omar, this is aggravating. Your ethnicity does not determine... It determines your upbringing determines your palate because that's what you're fed as a kid. Now, that sometimes aligns with your ethnicity, but you can be Pakistani and be fed pasta your entire life and have just as good, just a, a right to say about pasta as anyone who's born. I don't agree. If it's cultural, like if I have Indian food, I am a I am a arbiter of the quality of Indian food. People look to me. Because I'm if Indian. You eat well, because Indian you're food. an ex, you've had it a lot before. It's not part of my, it's you're... in my blood. I, you know, right. it's not in your, your, your wife. It's not in your right. blood. It's not your blood. It's it not your blood. blood. Of course it's, it's my not. blood. It's what you're, no, Indian this is, is my DNA. If, if your parents fed you Alpo as a baby, you would like Alpo today. Look, it this is nothing whole to nature do. versus nurture. Like, yeah. are you born gay? Do you become gay? Can you go to school? No, be, that, don't even, that's not even close to the same yeah. thing. <laughs> but it's like, I it's love, I say, a whole I love lot seeing of David's lips zip up when I yeah. say anything. But no, my point that's is. not even close to the same yeah, But the point is, is that, of, of course, some there's a bit of nature in these things, Josh. I think culturally, no. it is a big deal. Hearing you talk it about is, pasta, it is because, it is because it's like hearing Dave talk that. about, um, you know, uh, I don't know. Formula One. <laughs> Why what? can't I talk about Formula One? You're from the Midwest. What do you know about Formula One? Everyone eats pasta around the world, Omar. Everyone knows pasta. I don't have to be from a certain ethnicity to appreciate pasta. But Everybody you, eats it. You should thank your wife every day that she married you for a lot of reasons. And one of them is that she's that's giving whole, you a window into, into actually understanding the nuances and why it does matter. But your palate has been so damaged it's, by what you've eaten and drank it in your <laughs> earlier years. You're unable to really appreciate it. David, no, I don't know why you're I'm not just, hopping on this. I, well, if I'm in the middle, I'm, I'm on me. Josh's side. Yeah, I thank think you. that pasta has no different taste. Other Thank than you. the fact that it delivers the other stuff differently, the other stuff. Right. Yes, the experience of eating it. No, yes. that's not what he said. It's not what he said. That's not what he said. He and three hundred. There aren't three hundred different Who's ways. Who's gonna of cut off? That's too like many. Like There's no other food. You can't name another food I would that love. has a thousand variations. You know of what the I would do, actually, flavor. Josh? We will do this. I I promise you as. As irrational as this sounds, I we will do this. Where you, when you, whenever I see you again, you're not blindfolding me. We will cook like six. (laughs) (laughs) We cook like five or six different types of pasta. Okay, okay? and then I will also, the same time before we cook the pasta. Yeah, or maybe 
I will cut each one of the pastas into millimeter by millimeter squares. Oh, you won't taste the difference. So you will not be able to tell the difference between which right. one is which. That's yeah. my point. And what's, what will you be trying to prove? No, no, no. You I'm just... saying you will be. You no, will you be won't. Able to tell a difference. I can't imagine. Oh, my God. I will do this, and let's put some serious money on it. Let's put some serious money on it. I have to blindfold you and handcuff you, too. No, I'm going <laughs> – <laughs> Got going weird. to a weird place. Got weird quick. <laughs> All right, I'm done with my topic. I don't yeah. want any more of this nonsense. <laughs> I actually per- don't prefer spaghetti because it's hard to eat. Okay, you that's you got to roll the, right? roll the fork. Yeah, roll that's the fork. a that's a good work. reason. Right. That's a, so you like angel hair because it's it's easier. Well, that would it's thinner. be better. But I prefer something that I can just stab with my fork and just shove it in my mouth. Yeah. That's, okay, but I, not for the taste. You don't prefer it for the. It's that's all my the point. Same to me. Other than the pa- pasta per sauce ratio is probably heavier pasta with yes. like a penny noodle or something else. But other than that, uh, I, could, I could fix that by cutting the noodles up. I, I don't think it would make a big difference. Thank you. That's but, my point exactly. All right. That's Omar, exactly. are you ready for your topic? Um, I mean, it's I, it, this, this, guy, yeah, this guy. I, I did it on purpose. I called on him. You, <laughs> because he treats this podcast, I don't know. He loves his dog. I don't know what hundred x more than this podcast. I mean, it's, it's not. It's not even. This podcast yeah. falls way I'm down back, the list I'm of back, his priorities. I have a lovely topic. It's such a wonderful topic. It's, okay, it's also right. yeah. Let's hear it. So, so do you guys have? You know, Josh, you've been living in your neighborhood, quote unquote, for how many years? And within the same like thirty mile radius. Oh, same 30 mile radius. A l- yeah. very long time. Yeah. Very long. Okay. Time. David, how about you? 19, uh, 13 years. Okay. So do you guys have, I'm assuming you do, um, favorite restaurants and more importantly, favorite dishes at those favorite restaurants that you just yes. love? I do. Yeah. Yeah. There's a couple like that. Yes. Well, Josh, I, you, I saw you make a face. Did you just yeah, I mean, or I'm confused. No, I had, to, I, had to, I had to think about it for a second. Yes. Okay. In fact, yeah. I will just say just to just jump ahead here that when I go to a restaurant, I go for the one dish I do like. I don't try yeah. oh. different dishes at, at restaurants. I, I find one thing. If I want something different, I go to a different restaurant. I don't mix it up. I don't know if you guys do the same. But Where do you go for your octopus, Dave? I... <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, uh, to New York City. Uh, that's my one and only. So, so yeah. So, I mean, now, I mean, I don't know how you guys don't sound like you're that. There's not. If I said like, what's the one dish at a restaurant you would want to have, or you, nothing, I, I was expecting a little bit more emotive reactions. Oh, Chick Fil A. No, that's not true. Chicken nuggets. That's not true. Chicken nuggets at Chick Fil A. That's my. Is that yeah, what you're okay, looking for? So that's there's more a, of a, there's a place. There's a place down uh, down the shore where I that, that has the best burnt ends. I love brisket burnt ends, and I get okay. them every and you, time. How long, every how long time. have you been going there for? Well, it's a newer place, so only about like four years. But it's like your f- number one dish. If you're if you're if you're, if you're going to a firing squad, you're about to be killed. That be your meal? Mm, no, but that's the first thing that popped in my head when you said restaurant with a, with a favorite dish. But yeah, that's one of them. Yeah, I, I think it's awesome. The brisket so you're saying awesome. in 19 years, there's no one place that's like, okay, Dave, how about you? Or yes, whatever. There, there is, but it's not, you know, I live in the suburbs. I didn't live in Manhattan where, you know, there's a way better but there, field of restaurants. Uh, okay, but maybe it could be a New York restaurant too. It doesn't have to be necessarily in your neighborhood, actually. So maybe it can be slightly rephrased. Yeah. So, okay, great. So I go to this one Chinese place. I get uh, Peking duck. I love it. It's the greatest thing ever. It'd be top five. It's years. not that place in London, is it? N- no. Okay. No. Mm-mm. David, do you have a place? You do. You have a few places, right? So yes. I guess my point is, I'll give you some more context. Chicken nuggets at Chick Fil A. What? I, uh, yeah. What, what, <laughs> Where are you dude? going with this? So, <laughs> I I have like a love affair with these restaurants, with these dishes. Like La Esquina in New York had this incredible, which is the corner in Spanish, and it was a Mexican restaurant. And ironic, in this, not ironically, maybe they had the best burger in New York City with this incredible cheese. I think and coincidentally. Probably and right. then, coincidentally, and no, mm. and then, but no, but then they changed oddly, the cheese oddly, <laughs> and it changed the entire burger. Ruby's on Mulberry Street had the best burger in New York. Avocado, Ruby Tuesdays, incredible buns. They're called Ruby's, Australian place. They changed the bread. Yeah, right. It sucked, right? And uh, Raul's, my favorite restaurant in the world, which still is, it still is, but they no longer hand cut the French fries. Okay, um, and it changed the dish. Uh, it went from a ten. 
to like a 9.3, but it's still oh, there. Geez. And um, but the fries just aren't incredible. They're they're just good now. Mm. And so my favorite, um, so I guess my my the the my I guess my topic is this. I my favorite lunch place uh, in in Soho, uh, which is my you know my home in New York very much is Balthazar, where they have a chicken club sandwich that is toasted bread, avocado. Um, chicken, um, this incredible sauce, and Balthazar's French fries are as good as today as they were ten years ago. They're amazing. Okay. And so I had, and so I, I went there um, on my way when I was flying back. Um, I went there before I left to have it, and it wasn't good. And so it was kind of disappointing. I was so excited to have it before I got, got on went went to the airport, and and then um, so I thought to myself like. How many times do I give it a chance before I stop going? Because like Ruby Rosa, which is also a great pizza place. I love my pizza. I had three bad experiences in a row, and I don't order pizza from there anymore. They used to be my favorite pizza in New York. And so have you guys had yeah. places yes. that you have you give it another try? And when do you stop giving it another try? Because people change. Recipes change. There are new chefs. There's new ownership. Yes. Whatever. They want to cut yes. costs. They can't, can't cut french fries anymore. Have you, when that experience happens, it's very sad, right? It means you're like, I'm like, Fuck. Yeah, it's, I hear you. I, yep. yep. I hear you completely. Yeah. I, I can you tell you how many times. I think I have a number. Three <laughs> times. Oh, you do now? I, I, no, well, I think that's what I would do. I, I don't. I can't think oh, exactly oh. when it's happened, but I think the first time would catch me off guard. The second yeah. time would confirm something's up, and third time would be like, yeah, something's wrong. And either I would either investigate. Do you say something? But I always talk to the. Whenever it happens, I and it usually they they change something. I should, and that's what how you're different than me, Omar. Like you're much more of a uh, like you get to the bottom of things. I I think I would just slowly drift away and and not go back. The problem is Dave Thomas isn't usually at the Wendy's that Dave goes to. Yes. <laughs> you know, he yeah, goes or, Wendy's or to Wendy's. Wendy's, or Wendy's Frosties have always been really good. <laughs> yeah, it has stayed solid. Yeah, it's I think solid. three is generous. I'm a two. I mean. Two? It, yeah. If you're in you love what, with a meal in a restaurant, huh? Yeah. Well, it's just you know, I don't think I've had this experience that I can even recall. I'm sure it's happened, but I can't recall it at least re- uh, recently. So maybe I would be, I would be correcting myself if it happened now but if i had a bad experience with somebody i I would dismiss it first like okay maybe like you said maybe there's a different chef that night you know people have off nights they're human beings making it so you can have an off night um but if i if i went back and gave another shot and it was and it was bad again i'd be like oh my god i think it would take a long time before i do it again before i go back for the third more than two yeah i i think after two if it was really bad it used to be my favorite maybe i would ask after two and if I got a good answer, I'd, I, but I would think I would naturally, I would give the benefit of the doubt. I think I would go three. I might be a gap of time. I think three is the right number. It, it's certainly not four. Let's put it that way. I also have like uh, on, a, on a parallel, like like going to new places that I, I live, you know, in Puerto Rico. And I, tr- I really want to have like my local place. Yeah. Um, yeah. Wherever I am. And I, I try and make it work, if you will with restaurants where I'll go there 10 times. Like <laughs> I've literally gone there 10 times to restaurants. I won't say there. Well, Serafina is one of them uh, where I'll, and I'll tell the, 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 the owner, because they'll see me a lot. I'm like, I need to find my dish and everything there is not good. And so I, I just, so why are you going there 10 times? Is I want to try and find a dish because it's close yep. to me. And like but if you go there twice and you don't have a good meal, I can't believe you're going back for a no, third because, time. No, because you want to give it multiple times. Maybe there's I, a dish or one thing that they're actually good at making. And I'll I'm tell sure you the another, restaurants that exist that have like one good meal yeah. and everything else sucks. I think this well. is another thing. This is an interesting uh, – I have a side topic on this is that Omar doesn't go to restaurants as a passive. Omar goes to restaurants <laughs> to develop a relationship. Correct. And I think we can if it's all, a good restaurant. Yes, and I look, I've learned from you on this. So there is a breakfast place in Clayton. It's at a hotel that we would never let you stay at, Josh. Okay. Um, and uh, the last time I was there, um, the, uh, the person who usually uh, is, uh, is, is waits on us, uh, she came up to us and said, hey, by the way, if you're parking in the parking lot, um, if you just push the button to, like, to the uh, let me go kind of button or just the help me button, um, they'll just let the gate and let you out. You don't have to pay the the fee to get out. And I thought, that is so nice. Thank you so much. And I thought, you know what? Next time I go, and this is, again, these are things I'm learning from Omar. 
uh, is I'm going to bring her a gift. I'm going to bring her something because I want to not just show up at this restaurant. I want a relationship with this restaurant. I want to walk in and have her say, oh, Dave, it's nice to see yes, you. Yes, like, everybody wants that. Of course, but I don't make the effort to do it. Omar I had does that, that once. I had that Have once it. in my life, and it was really great, but it wasn't really a rest. It was a food truck, but it was still great. Yeah. So when I worked in the city, there were these lines of food trucks that were behind the building that I worked in. And um, there was one that I really liked. They made really good sandwiches. And I went there so often that the guy recognized me. He's like, hey, you're here every day. I'm like, yeah. He's like, I'll tell you what. And he gave me his cell number, and he said, because there's always a big line. He goes, just text me what you want. And then I'll text you when How it's ready. How great is that, right? right? It was amazing. Well, so, I, it was, how, why haven't you done that? Why don't you? And I got to, to know his. Ways. I got to know his name, and he knew my name, and it was. And but here's the problem with it. The problem with it was like I felt like I had to go there probably more than I would have had I not <laughs> that yeah. relationship. No. But that's, yeah, There's because nothing that, more important for humans. You, nothing more important for this is the most important thing that's been said on this podcast. What is this episode? 27 or 29, 29. Yeah. that I, anyone's ever said it's the truest thing there's <laughs> nothing more important for humans than connection that's why i treat every stranger like an old friend you know who said that the dalai lama it's very true the lama said that the lama said that and to it's you? a very true yeah. thing if you can, it doesn't have to be for any reason to like get access it's just to see them people react that way when they see you it feels of nice of course it is nice but that doesn't but you can get that Elsewhere no, too. What? what do you mean? To, no, you, no, can't. you can't. David, you make, David, bringing bringing uh, uh, the person uh, something when they see her, him, David. Even if they don't give him another tip ever again, it means something to David. It's nice. It makes it. I hear nice. you. Yeah. Let me ask Dave a question, Please. because this is going to be a delicate balancing act. Yeah. The gift that you give to this person well, is that's going my next, to be my next incredibly. Question. You're gonna to have to be incredibly thoughtful with this to not enter the creep. Uh, Death. Yes. Death is the word. I drew Death. a new picture of myself, yes. and I thought, is that too much? <laughs> <laughs> Don't give her anything Brett Favre would. Do By the way, did you guys see what I just did? <laughs> I drank my glass of wine with my pinky out for yeah. some reason. It's impressive. A, do you know why people do that? Uh, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. There's a reason for this. This is actually, I swear, this is true. The reason is because back in the, I think the medieval days of like King Arthur and the Round of Knights, Round, round Table of Knights. Already, I don't. Think yeah, that's, um, I don't even table. think that's fictional. Yeah. Isn't that fictional? I don't think that's real. Um, people, yeah. <laughs> people would use, uh, would use their pinky for like spices to put in their food. And if they had their pinky on their glass, it would get it. Uh, uh, more, it would make it. Uh, it would soak up the spices. So it wasn't good to do that. So they always want to keep their pinky dry. How would and it soak up the spices? It's on the outside of the glass. No, it's no, no. If you when you did when you put your spices into your food at, later after you had the glass of wine. So the spices are just sitting on your pinky, balancing there, and you don't no, want to. No, if if your fingers wet, they do. That's why you never have a. I don't wet think finger. people were that refined. There's back no in the way dark ages. that anecdote is true. Yeah, I. I <laughs> you're gonna have to set a link to that one. Back in the Game of Thrones days, when the dragons <laughs> yeah, were right. flying around. So you, so you guys think I made that completely up, huh? Yes, because I, I don't even think I, that Lancelot and the Round Table is true. Isn't that not? A, isn't that not true? Isn't that? Uh, isn't that fiction? Well, he might have that I'm wrong. wrong. So you're basically saying back in the day, uh, you just <laughs> threw in the Arthur. Here we go. The act of sticking out one's pinky while drinking is thought to date back to the medieval practice of using okay. it for dipping into spices such as mustard or salt while eating. That, okay. Did but, you just ask Jeeves? Where is that from? What's your source? What's your source? No. Everyone. The act of sticking out one's pinky. Everyone. Is, whatever. During this time period, eating utensils were not typically used. Well, hold on. Right. Right. Did you ever go hand. to medieval I, times? I believe you. I believe you. I believe you. It's true. But, I okay. do want an answer. So, yeah. so what's your gift, is, Dave? An older, yes. What's my gift? What's it's your an, gift? It's an older woman, uh, super nice, um, and I want to be. Da I want to. I come in. I want it to be like norm to her. You know, I want to. I want to walk oh. in. Everyone knows my name. What is seat cushion? A seat cushion. No. A seat cushion. What are seat you cushion's about? weird. They sit in those booths all day. No, no, no they no, don't. They're on their feet. feet. Yeah. She's a waitress. Oh, oh! I thought I was a parking attendant. Sorry. <laughs> No, oh my no. God, he's no, gonna she, he's gonna befriend a parking <laughs> attendant. Hey, listen, <laughs> haven't you watched Better Call Saul? The yes, uh, yes the parking yes, attendant is true. a button, and the whoever that is, you're right. I should get a gift for that person too. They'll always let no. me through. It is the person who's uh, you know, she's waiting tables, 
Is that, is that okay to say? I feel like I'm saying it offensively. That's um, completely fine. Okay. Um, and uh, she's just a very sweet, she's probably an older lady, although I'm old too. She could be my age, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Like, how about a bag of, uh, of chocolates, maybe? What no, that's very romantic. Why don't you get her pieces of flair? Uh, Waitresses love pieces of flair. They have to wear as many as they <laughs> Got a bunch of things on here I could uh, could bring. Um, why, why don't you get her some red roses? <laughs> Your wife will love that. I'll write a poem. <laughs> There's really nothing you could say to get her that's so not going to no come gift? off creepy. I can't do this. What would you do, Omar? It's, you would, you would, you're going to be time. weird. What are you going gonna... to I I like nothing more than like there's this my favorite hotel in the world which I want to be at in a few days, Chiltern Firehouse in London. I like nothing more than uh, being friends with people who work in restaurants yeah, and hotels. Yeah, of course. It's nice. Because you're, it's like you're in you're in on the inside joke. Keep going. There. So is it cash? No. It's no, no, no. Cash. The What's the gift? You know what you get her? I'll tell you what you get her. Because it's completely not – there's no message there. There's no hint of uh, that I'm interested in you. Get her just a gift card. Just a nice gift card. No, no, that's weird. That, that's Why is that called. weird? No, when you when you go there again, do you know her name? No. Flo. Okay. Uh, when you go there again, <laughs> no, <it's... laughs> you ask for their table. It's yeah. person's table, right? Yep. And then you just give them a really nice tip. That's I, not what he no, wants to do. Yeah, I, if that's what you should do, that's no, easy no, to do. No, but I wasn't done. Okay. <laughs> um, but while you, you Bring a mariachi band. During the course of your meal, you bring it up. Be like, I have to tell you something. Like, people give me advice and guidance on things all the time. No, it's usually no, wrong. No. no. I bring up my tip. Hey, check no, out that. Not the tip. The bottom. No, no, not the tip. The, that you're going to get her a gift. You. No. I'm not, she, no. The, wait, what? Are you nuts? I'm really yeah, disappointed. No. I thought no. you had a good idea for a gift. I want, I want something to stick here. I want to be able you're to come to the You're going to creep her restaurant. out. There's no sticking anything, first of all, number one. Number two, Josh has no idea how to how to manage a relationship with Yeah, I'm kind of not asking Josh. I agree. <laughs> he's no I, idea. I, Josh, you're like you're the cheapest you're, guy. You're, asking, you're, you're, what? you're like, yeah, Josh, you have no clue. The only thing that I'm there's, I'm not you, good at very many things, but I'm very good at this, right? And I think, and like it's just more a matter of if you if you tell them in a very like offhanded like you know sort of like way that's genuine, which is very true. Yeah. How like such a subtle thing, because people give people advice about things all the time. If you do it this way, you know that you're get there faster. Or if you like do this, and it's usually all nonsense. Because everybody wants to like an, sounds like an expert on everything, and this that's true. person gave you advice that was actually meaningful. Yeah, unlike any of the advice we give on this podcast. <laughs> what, what right? you, so what, wait, 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 wait. What are you saying? You're saying you would give her advice? No, no. you think give her a tip and. Yeah, but you said I'm saying mention. bring it up during the dinner, during the meal. About Thank how her what? for giving me advice and then land it with a big or tip. Make, or make, some, ah. make, make, some, make some subtle reference to it, right? And like be like, that was actually amazing. Thank you. Like I feel like I'm part of like the mafia here, which is so neat. I'm usually, I, it's not David, bad. You know, That's David. not bad. I mean, Josh, we've seen David at many events. He's always yeah. like somewhat ostracized. So for once, <laughs> he's welcome into a circle of he's trust, ostracized. right? ostracized. It's a big deal. Oh, my. <laughs> you did it. That, you know what? It's not no, bad I because good. I don't think I'm trying to ra- I'm, 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 I'm going through uh, my head here. And I can't think of a single gift that's not going to come off like there's some romantic intention. I, I, yeah, I think she's I think she's that's older enough that it wouldn't no. come across that way. But um, why don't but you like, get her jar of Metamucil? Give, you give a gift to uh, <laughs> you give a gift to like the flight attendant when you get on a, an airplane. I do. Right. I give them either sweets or something healthy. Yeah, I do. So I and I have. Uh, I there's a huge once. difference, though. But there's huge. How difference. often do you go to this restaurant? Uh, well, the thing is, I'd like to start making this a, like a more regular thing. So I'd like yeah. to go like every other week, or uh, every week is probably not, but every other week, so that we definitely like. Here can say. Here's hello. the problem. Here's the problem. Again, Omar gives the flight attendants the gifts. He's never met them before. Yeah. So there's no, there's no like, Repeat. I don't know you, but I'm just being a nice gesture. Right. This woman knows. Yeah, you. no, no, you can't give them anything like that. Just, just mention yes. it on so when you're having mention the it, give a The tip. intentions are going to be yeah. misread. Yeah. That's all. I know. That's all. Ultimately, they don't going to have misread. food. It's not. They're they're not in the air. Um, um, <laughs> no, <laughs> not in the air. 
But I tell you what, you do have to be careful though. When I stayed at the one hotel, Dave, that uh, in St. Louis, when I went, went there every time, yeah. of course, everyone knew me there at the hotel because I was yeah. there all the time. This is the crappy one? Yes, the crappy yeah. one. And I became friends with really everyone who worked there. Yeah. And, there, and the, um, the one uh, bellman, really nice guy. And I don't want to be mean here, but it just became like too much. Because then I would walk in, I'd like, my flight would be delayed, it'd be late at night, I'm exhausted, and I come in, and there's the bellman, and he comes up, hey, Josh, how you doing? And then he would talk to me about his kids, and his, I'm like, I'm just tired, and I yeah. just want to go to my room, and I oh, can't yeah. now, because now I have to engage in conversation with this guy, because I've talked to him every single time I go in there. That's a good Do point. you think that you have, you know, something happened to me uh, yesterday, um, and and Josh, you know, you have good self awareness of this. I think, uh, so in my finally a compliment. I, yeah, where <laughs> where I park, I I parked my I parked my my car, and I parked it, and I got the call from the front desk saying, my garage here where I live has sixty five or seventy percent of the parking spots are open, open because okay. there's no parking spots being taken in my building for whatever reason. And I get a call from the building, which has happened before. Can you move your car? It's out of the yellow lines. And I'm like, it's happened That's a few times. It happened yeah. yesterday again. And I, I got out, I went, I'm, I'm middle of daytime. I, you know, I'm whatever. I went down to the garage and I moved the car. And then uh, t- half an hour later, I get a call again from the front desk saying, sorry, can you please move your car again? It's still like, I'm like, what is, who is doing this? So I went downstairs. I well, saw my who's car. doing this. Aren't you parking it? I'm parking it, but who's complaining? Right, no. but why can't you get it in between the lines? Well, listen, what is wrong I, with go, you? I go to the car, okay? I go <laughs> That's to the, the bigger car issue, that you can't I, park your car after properly. I, after I initially reparked it, right? <laughs> yes. The first complaint. Yeah. And my car is between the lines. Is there a between, car next to you? Are there cars no. on either side of you? No, no, there's so not. So who's saying this? This there's is not. bizarre. There's not, well, there's on the right side of my spot. There's kind of like a you have to like there's a, a spot there which was um, so there's on both sides there are open spots, and I'm very annoyed because I got called again and I go down to my car. My car is between the lines, right? It, so then I don't get not, it. But it's kind of diagonal. Why? <laughs> So but it's still be, still be, no, but even the outside of my car is still between the lines. All right, so you're your you're coloring in the line straight. Right. My between point, Josh, the is lines. This. When I went down, I was furious, and I'm like, and I got down to the elevator at the front desk. I'm like, take a deep breath. It's not them. I wonder. Let's find out oh, the mystery. Scooby Doo. Yes. Who yes. Is complaining. Who's doing it? And you want to know who it was? It was the real estate brokers who are in the Sotheby's. Who have a spot next to me for free? Yeah, and they this bitch because they're sad, angry people. Mm. But I ha- <laughs> thank God I said to myself, "It's don't don't yell or don't be whatever with the front desk because it's not them." That's well, no, it's not. Me. It's not them. It's not them. But you have a you have a very good self. You just alluded to it right there, right? You're aware of your emotions. When you're dealing with people, it's a big deal. So a lot of people don't have that awareness. Yeah. Okay. That's. A, <laughs> I think the I moral of that story. I, I, was, I lost by the, the way, I number one, you worked in a second topic, which is illegal. We all know that. That's illegal. <laughs> uh, oh. Number two, the problem here is not the people at Sotheby's. The problem is you park your damn car straight between the lines. No, it's, it was between the lines. No, no, no. But you said it was. It, you said it was on an angle. But it was still between the lines. But, but that's after you fixed it. <laughs> yes, and they still even complained. your fixing it wasn't right. But they still complain. Yes, because they can't believe someone can't park a car <laughs> between the lines. Have you ever had a crappy neighbor before? <laughs> yes, yes, I have. Yes, I know what you're talking about. I'm just now. Are you going to buy yeah. these people a gift, or are you going to? Yes, uh, you should get I almost noses. went into the Sotheby's office <laughs> to read them the Riot Act, but I decided not to do it. Yeah, so good move. It's, you're there's just no po- nothing positive comes from that. Be silence. Well, all right. So well, I, I, I'd be a good podcast topic. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's maybe. true. That is true. That is true. 
I, I almost forgot Omar's topic in the first place. What was the the? Because I it was I, about I, your I, food, your your food at the restaurant, and uh, how many times you go back. Yeah, how many you go? Way, you guys right, are making answer me answer. feel like I'm the Ringo star of the band recently. No, no, <laughs> no. no. You're, there's so much good. I, I'm giving you compliments, man. Someone's got to play the drums. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. You, you have inspired me with this. Uh, it did. It was another topic I was going to have, but you brought up. Although I think. I will tip this woman and and but I'll mention how much I appreciate it, and then maybe mention my name too. Would you do that? Would you say I'm? I'm yeah, Dave definitely and, introduce like, yourself. Hey, I, you know I, I I I'm in here a lot. I see you and. Uh, well, you think that just, she already you know, forgot Dave? My name's I, Dave. Well, I wonder how many people she's given this inside tip to. That's a great question. I don't know. Mm. I mean, maybe maybe it's, ask uh, her that first. It doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. I'm kidding. I would think we'd a few because if she told everybody, the guy in the in the office who's seen the thing buzz would be like, something's up. So I think I got it. Must have been nice, you know. And she gave me a little bit of an inside tip. So, you know, David, you are you are a very both of you, uh, perhaps David, you more so. I'm sure me. Both you're both so. uh, You're you're, you're both yeah. No people, you're you make people (laughs) comfortable. It's that's right. Okay, so Omar. That's my. That's the, that's what I'm just about to say. Is that when I'm out at a restaurant and a waitress is a waitress or a waiter is wearing a name tag, I always make it a point to use their name. Do you really? Always, always. You think it that's, makes it. It makes it more personal. I don't think if I, you were a waiter at yeah. a restaurant, would you have your real name on your name tag? Yes, of course, absolutely. One hundred percent. You ever a waiter before? I busboyed. I've never been a waiter, but I have How been about, a busboy. When you order coffee at Starbucks, do you give them your real name? I never do. Um, it's on. It, it's attached to my account, but I'm ne- I'm rarely in Starbucks to begin with. Because but, I realize yeah. I would do if well, I, my name is Omar. Josh, he means anywhere where you have to give your name for something. Yeah, but it's attached. Oh yeah, yeah. Of course, I always do. Unless it's Fuddruckers, I always I like to do like because. Uh, well, did you Fudd always like your name Josh? Did you always like your name Josh, or was it Joshua when you were younger? No, it was always it was. I mean, it's formally Joshua, but it was always Josh. You know what's funny about the first name is when I was young, I always thought like, I liked my name, but I was like. It's going to be weird when I'm adult because I knew no adults named Josh. Because these things cycle. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, all adults. That's actually are great. Wait, 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 David. Do we know any Josh? Are the other Joshes? Yeah, of uh, course. There's a ton of Joshes. Well, I'm looking at my phone right now. Hold on. I, hold on. I can't think of. Well, what I, know I found a lot out of at Josh's. Starbucks is if, you, if I say Dave and they go, Dave. You know, it could be like, is that Nate? Is that uh, <laughs> okay. Dave? Like, is I, it, have, so, I, I have. I have. I have eight Joshes in Thank my you. phone. I don't know Thank any you. of them. <laughs> okay, Josh but I have, Wonder, I have one Omar. Josh Cherney, Josh Kuntz. Okay, don't Josh, say their names out loud. Josh what are you Sam doing? Josh don't Sabin, say their, Josh, don't Josh say their names. You're just making those up. Those aren't real people. Josh, what are you doing? I'm not making them up. Stop. <laughs> no, stop. stop. Don't I stop. I swear to God. <laughs> you're Jimmy a train wreck. Tell Josh hey, Ringo. Ringo. You don't need to be bringing people up here. Ringo, there's no drum solos in Hey Jude. You've already lost a friend. Yeah. Let's say, yeah. Let's not add anymore. <laughs> you only a, have one Josh left. Uh, anyway, well, hey, let's yeah. move on. Let's move on. We, we yes. do have one more segment for our podcast, and that is This Week in Norway. Josh, you got the uh, music? Right, let's hear it. What's the story? Right. Uh, okay. Uh, this one comes from the uh, Norway Today, uh, which is appropriate. Yes. <laughs> uh, actually, the uh, the ad in between is Kevin Costner opens up about finding love after years being in sing- being single. That's not a Norwegian headline, but that's interesting. Hmm. Um, anyway, hmm. uh, so uh, the headline for this Norway today is man in his 50s sentenced for kicking a six year old kindergarten boy. Whoa. Um, a man in his 50s have been sentenced in Vestfold District Court to 45 days in prison for kicking a six-year-old kindergarten boy in the crotch and in the butt. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. That's not, that's no, not right. No, Josh, that's not appropriate. Was the it court- one kick that landed to the crotch and butt, or was it a kick to the crotch and then a kick to the butt? Does it it looks like it was and. Maybe, maybe he deserved it. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. Let's keep reading. He Look, uh, yeah, if, some six-year-olds really can get right right insults hey, you right into the heart of it right six-year-olds can be assholes just like anybody else the court found it clearly aggravating that the act was committed against the child and that the defendant as an employee of the kindergarten <laughs> should have acted as a carer for the victim the norwegian broadcasting reports the man is also sentenced to pay the boy 
ten thousand. Cro- and okay, Kroner, Norwegian. Cro- ten thousand Norways. Norwegian, no, ten thousand Norwegian. Or oh, it's Swedish uh, Kroner, units right? In yeah. Restitution. I don't know what Norway is. Yeah. I'm gonna really quickly do the uh, Kroner. Yeah, how to, much is uh, that dollar uh, calculation? It, just real quick in my head. It's like ten ten cents. <laughs> no. so it's a thousand dollars it's nine hundred eighteen dollars this yeah. poor boy guess what for a six-year-old that's that's amazing what are you kidding that could have like deformed him like, a sick like, he may never have children again he's gonna have to get a let me tell you what's bucks. gonna happen this sets a bad precedent i'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen every other kid in that class is going to aggravate their teacher until they get kicked in the crotch so they can collect <laughs> their 900 bucks that's yeah. what's gonna happen now I'm if you sure told that... me at six years old I can get nine hundred dollars just getting kicked <laughs> kicked in the jewels, I would have lined up. You would have you would have you would have raised your hand. Uh, yeah, I, th- th- this is an open invitation now to to annoy the shit out of your teachers. Mr. Like, Harris you. over here is uh, wants to kick someone <laughs> in the crotch. Don't you feel that this happening in Norway <laughs> is is like the equivalent of a teacher? I mean, what's worse? No, it's not, it's not. It's not. No, I know. Are, are you going Mary yeah, Kay Letourneau not... here? <laughs> Who? Mary Who? Kay Letourneau. She slept what's with that? Billy Veely. She slept with. This was the very famous case. She slept with her kid. In yeah. in it was like a ninth grader or whatever he was, seventh grader. I don't remember. And then she got pre- impregnated by him. <laughs> yeah. And went to prison. And hey, the judge the, told her. What the judge he, told her he, when she. That came out. If you see him again, I'm going to send you back to prison. And she saw him again. That's not this story. This story. That's not this story. This story is completely different. I think it's uh, pay your thousand bucks, and uh, everyone lived happily ever after. That's an expensive kick to the crotch. I'll (laughs) tell you that. I'm saying it. I'm saying it more. I'm saying it more so. And again, I don't have that much that many data points on this, so forgive my ignorance. But I, 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 I've watched Netflix series about Norway life, or in Nordics. And they're more you watch reserved. Vikings. That's a little different they're than how more, they they're more. No, no, the modern day, and they're more, <laughs> they're more reserved versus like they the are. Yes, that's true. Outrage that the that's US how bad this yeah, six-year-old must, must have been. It must have been really bad. The most bitch, precocious six-year-old. six-year-old. What did he yeah. do? Yeah, but Here's by the, the way, thing. think about this. If you said you could kick not a six-year-old, but anybody, yeah, in the crotch and the butt, you get two kicks, two kicks, thousand bucks. Yeah, I could think of. Three or four people that. Oh like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was a yeah, that's that's a, a that's a t- that's a ticket worth with. Uh, right? worth what do you think? Yeah, uh, over and under ten people. More over under ten people, you'd pay that. Now, can, do I have to have access to these people, or can I pick anyone in the world and I would get no, access? No, you can't pick like yeah, someone you someone you have uh, to be able to like mm, access. Yeah, that's tougher. You think no, you come up with ten know. people? Oh, no, Mark, I, I cannot. You can come I cannot. Up with 10 people. No. Do they that know it's kick, kicking that them? I want to kick in the groin? <laughs> yeah, that you get a chance to for a thousand bucks. No, nothing else happens to you. Do no, you I don't it, think so. Yeah. It would be more so me um, uh, in a crowded room being able to say what other people think about them. <laughs> <laughs> you do that for free all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's much more valuable uh, than anything else. Yeah, it's, uh, a, it's a, was this guy fired, by the way? I know, does the article say? Was he fired or just had to pay uh, 900 and then he gets to go back? Later to on, uh, uh, after paying the, th- the thousand, 10,000 kroner, he was then named uh, Teacher of the Year from the Norwegian School <laughs> System. Oh, there you go. So Good for him. <laughs> Second <laughs> no, chances. I, it it uh, only shows sweatshirt uh, ads after that. So we don't yeah. know what happens right. to this poor person, but uh, hopefully everyone is fine. Um, well, with that, we probably should end this, uh, uh, shoot this podcast, kick this podcast in the crotch in the butt, <laughs> and uh, be over with it. It's good seeing you guys, and hope everyone else has a great week. See you later, everybody. See ya. Bye. Smell you later. I was waiting for that.